This is AI Dungeon Crawlers. Today is Monday, September 12th, 2022, and welcome to the dungeon, where we five traverse the treacherous mind of a sinister AI, programmed with the insights of 10,000 authors, throwing the best laid schemes of mice and men at our every turn as we struggle to write the greatest mouse-based Western adventure since Western University stopped me from putting lab mice in catapults. I'd like to say thank you to our patrons, Twask and Katarina. If you want to join us on Patreon and support the show, you can click the link just down below. It really is the best way to support the show and guarantees that we get most of the money, not Amazon or YouTube. That being said, we greatly appreciate any tips, bits, and subs. They don't go to waste. Speaking of which, Red Gamer Soul just resubscribed for 14 months in a row. That's more Absolutely than a year. Absolutely incredible. That's well more than a year and still is. Two, two more. Two more. <laughs> we have a few new shows in the works, and we'd like to expand our presence. The easiest way to have that happen faster is with audience support. Every little bit helps. Thank you guys. For example, getting an AI Dungeon Crawlers YouTube channel up to 300. We made it, Eric. The tricentennial. How does it feel? Uh, warm. Great. <laughs> and now, joining me tonight, somewhere out there, it's Eric Clayman. Beneath the pale moonlight, it's our guest illustrator, Chantel Cordeau. Welcome back, Chantel. Someone's thinking of me, why it must be Craig McGuire. And loving me tonight, well, that can be none other than Daniel Williston. Guys, we're back, and we've got mice. First and foremost, Eric. How you doing? I'm doing well. I'm hearing an echo on you. Yeah, me too. I've been trying to figure out. I think it might be Craig. Do we have a... I don't know. Uh, it's fine. I'm hearing an echo of me too. <laughs> okay. It's... I think it's somebody else, but I Everyone, don't know who. Everyone, check your uh, headphones. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> this wasn't happening before the show. We're... It's fine. Damn it, we Tell me about you. We have subscribers now. Oh, God. We've got to be better than this. we got to be better than this. Yeah, no, I'm doing well. Went to see, uh, thematically, oh my god, it was so fun. So we're doing a uh, Indiana Jones but a mouse kind of story yeah. today. Well, last week I went to see Indiana Jones and The Last Crusade in movie theaters. Oh, man. That was pretty fun. That's god, it's bad. great to see old movies in movie theaters. Yeah. Especially ones that I'm not old enough to have gone to see. What's your favorite one? I know, like, we've gone to a couple. You've seen yeah, some yeah. more as well. Do you have, like, a, a favorite I, film? All right, you've seen I did. Theaters? All right, yes. All right. D I'm going to preface this uh, with, yes, it is the most pretentious answer, oh, no. but Citizen oh. Kane was amazing to see. Yeah. <laughs> it, because, uh, nobody, all right. Fun fact about old movies, right? Um, those, they are crystal clear, right? Mm. Because the way that they're shot, the fidelity is, is higher than anything we can even get digitally. The problem is, as you play those movies over and over again, it degrades like a vinyl record, right? Um, but for those movies that are seminal, like the best ones, we can stitch together and get that high, high quality pieces of reel. And mm. watching Citizen Kane as a like pristine, brilliant, <laughs> crisp uh, image, it, it's, un it was, it's unbelievable and um, I had forgotten how funny that movie is, like legitimately just Genuinely laugh out loud laugh funny. Out loud funny. Um, yeah. And um, yeah, it's, um, would recommend. Yeah, good answer. If anybody's, uh, is Cineplex just in Canada or is that in the States too? I don't know. Uh, anyways, <laughs> if you've got a Cineplex near you, they do, they show these old movies pretty much like every month you can go. It's like seven bucks. Why not? Go see like yeah. a cool old movie redone in the big screen. It's incredible. Yeah. Nice. These movies I'm... don't just belong in a museum. Ha! Yeah. Ha! Why don't you segue that into our drinking game while we're hey, here? Hey, we're going to drink <laughs> any time we find else. something that belongs in a museum. <laughs> 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 Perfect. Great. Yeah, 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 nailed it. We're also going to, yeah. um, you know, any time. God. Chantel, why do you have to keep drawing snakes? Why do you have to snakes? <laughs> oh god oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah anytime we see a snake in the a snake in the grass and the grass this time is art nice um ah. yeah so um yeah we're gonna do that and of course we'll drink anytime we can't use what the ai gives and we just have to forget um, yeah absolutely yeah so wonderful that's, that's it no i love it 
Shout out to Theater Hugo as well, joining us on from YouTube. Good to oh, see you. Hey, I also see Mysterious P, King of Autumns here, Red Gamer Soul. I saw um, Planks Constant. Jeff is back from uh, oh. last week. Good to see you, Jeff. Um, Chantel, hey, how how are you doing? Oh, great. Yeah, oh, great. you're back Thanks. on the show. It's been it's been like a year and a bit since you were here. I think. It's right. been a year and a bit. I am no better than I was then. <laughs> Looking forward to it. Hell yeah. What are your expectations for today? Low. Real low, Jack. <laughs> Incredible. Amazing. I expect to draw some mice and hear many Indiana Jones and Five Goes West references. That's what I'm here for. And you know what? That's a great bar. I wouldn't say that one's low by any means. <laughs> I will say some of your mice are walking on two feet and some are walking on four. Is there a rule here or are we just big I don't shot? know. Some of them have clothes, some won't have clothes. It's up to you to decide if the ones without clothes are naked or just natural. Okay. Oh, natural. Well, thank you, Chantel. Thank you for coming back and, and joining us this week. Uh, our wonderful Noah is away on a vacation for the next two weeks. So we'll have a couple of guest illustrators coming in and doing some art with us, which will be just so much fun. I'm so glad to have you back. Um, and now I'd like to open the floor to none other than Daniel Craig. Hello. Great to have you joining us on the show what, this evening. The Daniel and Craig are here? The Daniel, comma, Craig is here. Craig, comma, Daniel has arrived. Yeah, absolutely. It's a big get for you guys. Yeah. <laughs> it really is. This is a really big get. I'm not going to lie. I'm sweating, like, so much. Daniel, uh, welcome back to the show. It's so good to see you again. Uh, dear friend of the show, um, tell us about you. Show. How's How's life been lately? Life's been great. I've been I'm out in Gananoque, Ontario, at the Thousand Islands Playhouse, doing Jersey Boys, and uh, so my life is filled with uh, music and joysy accents. It's it's a great old time. Oh man, <laughs> Planks Constant says loved you in Royale Casino. <laughs> <laughs> How do you spell was... Gananoque, by the way? G A N. Does a lot of heavy lifting, <laughs> lifting though. <but. laughs> N O Q U E. Oh, all right, nailed it. Yeah. I think I I can't fact check you. I don't know. You could have said anything. <laughs> I could have said anything. You would have been like, those were all letters. And <laughs> those were all letters. <laughs> That's the reason that we keep bringing you on here. Daniel, you're playing our protagonist tonight, guiding our story, voicing our main character. Do you have any sort of like? Do you have any? Um, any affinity for Indiana Jones or Five Goes West or mice oh, in general? Both of those. I didn't realize that Five Goes West was a sequel when I was growing up because I only had access to that one. So An American Tale, I saw much, much later and didn't mean nearly as much to me. I had, uh, I had the same thing with The Rescuers Down you. Under. I didn't that realize it was a sequel. Yeah. I had the same experience with both of those mouse feature films. <laughs> it's a universal experience. Oh my God. Wait a with minute. You? Have we done this before? <laughs> i think honestly what we are doing for tonight should be a sequel that we just never saw the first movie of it's oh man okay we got to think of a subtitle then knowing that this is the second of something we've never heard of i mean uh brooklyn squeaks goes even further west <laughs> <laughs> Country Buns in the chat here has got a fun little bit of trivia. Uh, Chantel, the last episode you illustrated was Love and Magic on the Riviera, which was published on September 4th, 2021, almost exactly one year ago. Wow. Isn't that wild? That's so fun. That is very wild and fun. I did not think it was that long ago, but I'm still living in the primordial time soup that is COVID-19. So. <laughs> Oh, man, can't wait to share that soup with you tonight for the next approximately two COVID hours. <laughs> Lastly, Craig, hello, Craig, Hi. welcome to the show. Uh, Thanks. Uh, fun connection for everybody. Uh, Craig played Eddie after Daniel had to go to Gananoque in the production of Rocky Horror that we just finished. So these are the same man. Isn't that wild? Craig, tell me about you. Crazy. How's life? Uh, I'm good. I enjoy uh, long walks to the fridge. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that one begs for 15 minutes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Um, I'm just really, really excited. I, as I was saying before we, we got on in here, I am blissfully unaware of everything that's going on and looking forward to it. I'm very excited oh, yeah. to be a part of this thing. Yeah. Do you have a favorite mouse-based film or franchise? Hmm. Uh, well, first of all, when you guys were talking about Five Goes West, uh, my thing is American Tale. I didn't know about Five Goes West until... 
like two days ago when I was on your mouse west. What what the? Anyway, yeah. <laughs> so uh, so American Tail was my was my mouse feature. Okay. I remember crying in the movie theater. So I must have hit a chord somewhere or with my... with uh, uh, American <laughs> Tail specifically. I guess I don't know. <laughs> really stuck with you. I see. It's clearly a very seminal moment in your history. Yeah, that's so right. I know. So something about a mouse he can't find his mom. It was fine. <laughs> Craig, you're going to be voicing every character that we meet along the way tonight. Perfect. Um, if you were to guess, how many accents would you say you could comfortably pull out tonight? Ooh. Someone in the chat will be keeping track. So whatever number you okay. stick to. Ooh. Okay. I'm going to say, having never done this, I'm going to go with maybe five. Five? Okay. Everybody place your bets. Over or under. Dang it. Someone, well, now someone I'm keep all track. sweaty. All oh, right, man. Right. I've, been, I've been, yeah, just <laughs> flop sweat for 15 years. So <laughs> that's life as we know it. Um, is there, are there any any other sort of business business uh, I'm missing out on before we get started? No, I think we're good to go. Hell yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, uh, Eric, you're our narrator tonight. Why don't I play in with a little bit of music? All Let's right. go with uh, a nice little staccato business. Here we go. The far west is a new world, a world still being discovered. From the deserts of the southwest to the endless forests of the northwest, it's a world full of adventure. It's a world where the, where the old rules no longer hold true, and that the law is only as strong as the gang holding the guns. It's a world where the outlaws become heroes, and the heroes become legends. This is the story of the smallest legend to ever become a hero. You are Brooklyn Squeaks, a male mouse archeologist, and you are currently staying at the Margarita Saloon in the town of Spring Mills. You've devoted your entire life to archeology, span your dream of discovering something that will change the world. You were amazed when the faculty of archaeology at Cammonbridge University sent you to the small town of Spring Mills to investigate the strange artifact found in a local cave. You awake and look out of the saloon's bedroom window at the sun rising over the hills of eastern Kentucky. Your stomach growls and you walk to the kitchen to make breakfast. The cook, Sadie, welcomes you and offers you some eggs. You politely decline as you are already late to meet Professor Hammerstone. Oh. You take a biscuit and a cup of tea. You want to be careful of that one, says a voice from behind you. <laughs> <laughs> it's 1935, so you're not quite on edge by it just yet. <laughs> Something's a little unsettling. <laughs> <laughs> you turn around and see another patron at the bar. It's a gray and white mouse with a dark cowboy hat. She smiles at you and says, Name is Frida Freddy. <laughs> Professor Hammerstone sent me to bring you to him. Is she a vampire? Now I am concerned. <laughs> uh, well, let's well, go. You say and sip your tea. You both leave the bar and begin walking up the road. So why are you called that? You ask. I used to be a mouse gang, she says. The cheddar cheeses. Oh, so you steal cheese. No, we rob people, <laughs> she says. <laughs> but it was long time ago, and I don't say much about it. You nod and continue your conversation. Where are we meeting Professor Hammerstone? You ask. At the general store. Oh, so you're an outlaw. <laughs> Only <laughs> if a... you consider breaking into old tombs, stealing treasures to be a crime. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose you're all right. You reply and arrive at the store. It's a small shop with a wooden sign that reads... Spring Company General Store. You walk in and see Professor Hammerstone at the counter haggling with a lizard shop owner. The shopkeep is scowling, but the professor is smiling. 
Are you ready to begin your journey? He says to you. Yes. You reply. You answer. Good. He replies. The town is completely under cover from the law. There is, so, in fact, there is no one to stop us. He pockets the supplies he was buying and says, The city of Maischu Picchu will be ours! The what? You question. The city of mice that each cave mice built. He answers. It is the city of riches, and I am sure we will find many valuable artifacts there. We must hurry. We only have the day before the full moon, and terrible things will happen then. Terrible things that belong in a museum. <laughs> all right, everybody drink. All right. <laughs> mm. All right. Uh, we must get to the Hidden Valley before they arrive. Do we have any clues to its location? You ask. Only a few. That, that's respond. pretty significant for a lost city. <laughs> that's a big deal. <laughs> well, that's why we're looking now, Jack. Yeah. All right. You I'm is. just saying, like, have we got any clues to where this lost city is? Oh, yeah, tons. I got scraps in the back. <laughs> These maps. Uh, <laughs> we, we know that the caves in a, an abandoned mine to the northeast of here lead to the valley. How do we get to them? Your friend here says he knows where the entrance is. Well, I mean, come on, Eric. You, you gotta admit this is too easy. <laughs> All right. Well, at least, well, so we think. Uh huh. Ah. Yeah. And um, where is she now? At the jail, he says, and looks over your shoulder at Feta Freddy being taken away by the sheriff. The sheriff says, Freddy. I told you to never show your face in this town again. What are we going to do? Oh, <laughs> no. One God, person Jesus who knows the way to the... <laughs> the one person. We have a few other clues, allegedly. So. <laughs> yeah, also, it, wow, Craig, yeah. uh, we've four. already gotten three of the five. Four? Four, yeah. We, well, well, Plank's constant um, raises a good point. Does Snagglepuss <laughs> count as an accent? <laughs> You guys, also, I'm being super quiet because I have two kids sleeping upstairs. Oh, so, <laughs> you couldn't tell. No, uh, no, no. They'll be down shortly, I'm sure. All right. Oh, well, Daniel, you're our you're our hero. Yeah. What do we do? Our our, our lead is being t hauled away by the sheriff. We we have to stop the sheriff somehow. So okay. we have to commit a crime. Wait. <laughs> okay. Go what on. What crime would you like to commit? <laughs> Uh, well, uh, Brooklyn, what Brooklyn does is he, he goes behind the bar and he grabs the most expensive bottle of whiskey that they have and he smashes it on the floor. Whoa. Okay. Now this is like mouse sized whiskey, of course. Yeah. 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 It's, it wouldn't be uh, a big deal for the big, huge sized people, but hmm. for mice, this is a, a huge deal. Are there like mice that make bottles or is it like a taped over thimble? No, it's people who have to make them, and they oh. they outsource it, and you don't want to know where. It goes. Oh, oh no, <laughs> feel really, really guilty story. about this. Yeah, yeah. yeah, everyone should feel very guilty about having mouse whiskey. Uh, in the meantime, uh, <laughs> the mysterious P has asked us to put something in the world info here. Um, the character's name is Doc String, and here's what the AI has to say about it: Doc String, a mouse who used to be a war medic. <laughs> Doc now wanders the wilderness of a small, uh, with a small stash of bandages and explosives that he's long since lost his mind to. <laughs> so just a crazy old Doc who's got equal parts C4 and Band-Aids strapped to him. So, uh, Chantel, who are we, who are we looking at here? Uh, this is in the process of being taken away by the sheriff. Oh, I see. Like some handcuffs here. <laughs> I have yet to draw the sheriff. That's okay. Look at these tiny little handcuffs. <laughs> Is the sheriff a mouse? Um, I guess that's up to you. Yeah, you have the power. What would the... Because there's a lizard that owns the bar, right? Yeah. It would have to be some kind of western frontier animal. 
<laughs> just a human man like armadillo. <laughs> with tiny handcuffs and tweezers. Yeah, he has access to mice handcuffs, but don't worry, those are made local. <laughs> Grass fed. Wait, what? hold on. So what are they? Are they like inchworms that they tickle? No, no, no. They're like cows that they have to spend a long time doing it, but at least, you know, they're local. Oh. Oh, so so they hire cows, yeah. famously no opposable thumbs or Absolutely. fine motor And ask control. them to do these really small, small, like you, you have the, 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 what do you call that thing? The, oh, the telescope like, or whatever. whatever and then, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like people who do Warhammer. This is so impractical. Wait a minute. I see a sh sheriff snake. Oh! Everybody drink. Uh -oh. oh, oh, right. We have a game to play. <laughs> I forgot. What? Where is the badge pinned to? <laughs> oh, no. oh, my God. I took a liberty and gave you a line, Daniel, but I think it might have gone somewhere we didn't expect. All right. Let's well, read it. You jump behind the bar of the general store and grab the most <laughs> expensive bottle of whiskey you can find. You run into the street and yell, Hey, Sheriff, arrest this! You throw the bottle as hard as you can. The bottle explodes and whiskey is splashed all over the sheriff and deputy. The deputy oh, pulls out his revolver and shoots. He misses. You pull out your gun and shoot the deputy. The man falls dead on the ground. The sheriff draws his gun, but you shoot him too. You were saying? Jesus oh my God. Christ. Jesus. There is no law in this Tell town. my wife I love her. <laughs> well. <laughs> two we're... iconic characters have already died. You know, Jack, right some, so, some, sometimes, really. Jack, yeah. you know, we struggle to find out who we are uh -huh. with the AI sometimes, right? Yes. I feel like we know who we are, right? Oh, there is no doubt in my mind. I th thought we were, like, a bit roguish. You know, uh, maybe we'll bend a couple of the rules, but ultimately we would like to return everything to a museum. Um, but this is, I mean, this is cold blood murder it's of a law murder. enforcement yeah. officer. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Why, why, even, why even grab the bottle of whiskey in the That's first That's what I was going to say. It's a real waste of whiskey. And those little mice children who put that together uh, really spent a long time on it. So it's really, <laughs> they were really, really proud. I will say it might have been why the, the deputy missed, right? There's mm. two of them. So if you shoot sure. one, the mm. other will get you. But if you uh, make them both go, why is a bottle of whiskey exploding? They don't know ah. what the fuck to do, right? Okay. Just confuse them. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> it bought you some time. It's what do actually, you want to do? It's, to? it's still like human whiskey, so the alcohol per volume relative to a mouse is such that even smashing <laughs> it will just get them hopelessly drunk on fumes. All right. What Plus do you the, want to they're, do? They're, they're snakes, yeah. right? So wouldn't it like absorb into their skin? Like it might. They might even be drunk right. from it. Yeah. We won't question how they were holding guns. <laughs> With their tails, Jack. Oh, it's just wrap around the back. <laughs> All right. Sorry. That's enough derailing. Go ahead. Daniel, what do you want to do? You've killed the sheriff. You've killed the deputy. But how does oh, now I get to talk to uh, uh, Feta, uh, Feta Freddy. What is it? Yeah, Feta oh. Freddy. Remember, Feta Freddy. Sh sh she's the one who knows the way to uh, Mice Who Beat You. Mice Who Beat You. Absolutely. So. Uh, so I say to uh, Feta Freddy... Got you out of a jam there, didn't I? Why don't you tell me where we're going to? I know you know the way. Sorry, it's too heroic. <laughs> we just killed two he men. Just murdered two people. <laughs> You've got a French horde just giving them like, hey, buddy, you, you really did right there. A big thumbs up from the French horn section. Yeah. I always hated snakes. <laughs> yeah, fuck those slithery motherfuckers. <clears throat> Daniel, tell me a bit about Brooklyn Squeaks. <laughs> well, you know, he grew up in a in the wrong side of town, but he was always interested in archaeology. Are you sure? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. He really liked to dig for things. He would dig holes in houses. He would live there. <laughs> Eventually, he, uh, you know, he, he wrote a paper about how uh, uh, mice do better digging than humans do. And uh, it got him into uh, the Camabridge, Cam Camabridge, 
Cameron Bridge. Cameron Bridge University. Uh, and eventually, when the university realized that he was willing to do anything for archaeology, and I mean and anything, <laughs> they started sending him on adventures because they're like, this guy's going to kill every single person between him and his goal. Oh and then God. he's going to put this in a museum. This guy's going to get shit done. Yeah. So he's very useful. They don't have any other violent mice on the faculty. So <laughs> he's the only person they can send for hits. Is he a is he a wild card? Yeah, absolutely. It, oh, okay. The choices that he makes are always completely left of center. <laughs> okay. So he's, cool. uh, but you know, he's a complicated so. guy. He's a great guy to have as a friend. Terrible guy to have if you're in between him and his archaeology, Jeez. though. <laughs> Oh my god, I, Chantal, I love the tiny, like, angry eyes you've given him. And is he holding, like, a pair of Mauser pistols? I, I think they look like Han Solo guns. Yes. Oh I god. can't draw guns. <laughs> <laughs> they're, like, they're like little super soakers. I think, I think um, in true mouse fashion, I think they're like little, like, pop guns that shoot toothpicks. They like oh, little, 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 little uh, rubber bands. And they, they do go pew because of right. tiny rubber bands. Yeah. You say. Which is oh, such sorry. a much more violent way to die than bullets. It really is. <laughs> Still got to go through you and kill them. It's so. like arrows, yeah. Oof. All right, you say. Uh, Feta Freddy, got you out of a jam, didn't I? Why don't you take me to the tunnels that lead to Mice Chupichu? Let's go. She replies. You run down the street was. to the saloon. You and Freddy climb into the back of a wagon and tell the driver. Take us to those abandoned mines. No problem. Wait, that's the same guy. No problem. He shouts back. <laughs> <laughs> the driver in the original film was played by Errol Flynn. Um, <laughs> <laughs> he speeds out of town and you soon reach the large mountain of gravel. I love the idea that it's a gravel pit. This oh, wait. Of it's course. a mountain of mice. It's just... it's just a pile of gravel in like a parking lot somewhere. <laughs> I like to think that this is like modern times, but for mouse society, they've just entered like yeah. The, yeah. the 19th century. The 20th century, rather. They're just <laughs> raiding an ice box. <laughs> <laughs> the, this is just like a mouse colony that was fumigated like three, three months, months ago, ago. But to them, oh, oh man. Ancient history. <laughs> uh, all right. We're, we're at a large mountain of gravel. What do we do, Daniel? Well, because I'm an excellent archaeologist, everyone stand out of the way because I'm the best at digging for an entrance. Wait, you're going to dig, dig a new he, hole? He digs a new hole because there's a mountain of gravel, so he's got to get to the entrance of the mine, and he's got to dig a different hole than whatever is available to them. All right. <laughs> I'm into it. It sounds like he's not looking for an entrance, then. He's just, <laughs> just digging a hole. If, listen, Brooklyn does not look for entrances. He makes his own. You're right. His entire MO so far has been making holes in things and people. <laughs> I mean, there were snakes. They weren't people. Come on. <laughs> Craig, tell me a little bit about, if you wouldn't mind, uh, what this animal society is like. Oh, my God. Well, it's definitely... Uh, so mice are at the, at the bottom rung here, and they're trying to get up to the level of snake. And uh, everything in between knows their place. Like, the mice are, are, are really low on, the, on, the, on society's lower end they're the are you saying snakes are like the the top of the animal society chain of being crazy no it is <laughs> i don't know if i believe it oh all right no i mean if that's how it is if we saw the sheriff sure yeah yeah that's how, well see he, he shoots the sheriff in cold blood jealous much <laughs> one more question for you before mm. we read on uh Craig, in the art, Chantel has drawn the two mice are in what looks like a horse-drawn carriage, but we can't quite see what's drawing the carriage. Yes. Um, what what animal do you think would be pulling mice in a little carriage? Obviously, it would be an armadillo. Oh, uh, my gosh. 
because it has it's not unlike Battle Cat from He-Man, but it has its own armor. And uh, and if if tr- if trouble comes, the uh, the armadillo just goes into a little ball, and the mice just push the ball like Indiana Jones at the enemy, and they run right away brilliant. from said well ball. Done. Yeah, mm-hmm. in this in this already like quite dangerous society, they've got people that are naturally armored. Running, yes, <laughs> uh, running their own businesses, <laughs> protecting people. Delightful. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh-huh. Um, Eric, where where do you want to pick up from? Uh, I just I'm going to do one more input just so that we have a lot. To okay. Read. But uh, when we pick up from, let's do uh, yeah, um, I'll go from he speeds out of town. Okay. All right. He speeds out of town, and you soon reach a large mountain of gravel. You say, Everyone, get out of the way! You inspect the mountain and dig for traces of the entrance. You find signs of the ancient cave mice. You slowly make your way down the winding tunnel. Ah, this seems to be it, you proclaim. (laughs) What? This must be it! How do you know? The signs of what? I don't know. You snap. But we are in the right place. You stride down the tunnel. This certainly is a strange place. You comment. What do you mean? There are no bones. Oh, that. (laughs) I hate this place. It gives me the creeps. Mm, Me too. You admit. You reach a huge open cave. This is it. How do you know? <laughs> I just do. Let me look. No! I am in charge. So, you are the boss, huh? All right. <laughs> so, uh, uh, I guess we gotta play rock, paper, scissors to see who's the boss. <laughs> I see so is this. this uh, is your MO just to, like, arrive in a location and proclaim that this is it. <laughs> this is the place. X marks the spot. Which spot? Uh, you know. That's this spot. one. That's how you, and then your, you go. That's how I you am on the faculty spot. of archaeology <laughs> in Cabo Bay University. Cabo Bridge University. So you don't you, you you don't know where X is until you figure it out. Yeah, the faculty of archaeology at Cabin Bridge University, also called Fuck You. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, sweetheart, well, baby. But it, but it does help that they wrote This Is It on the wall. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, with an enormous X and circled it. Yeah. But the thing is, you have to go up a spiral staircase to be able to see down to be able to get it. Oh, oh okay. So, yeah, yeah. So, and, and only I'm... an archaeologist would think to do that. <laughs> Only an archaeologist sees a spiral and realizes that it's a Oh, a I see. There's a whole perspective thing to this whole X business. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What are, you, are you setting us up to play rock, paper, scissors? Do you want to do that? Oh, yeah, absolutely. We're going right. to figure out once and for all who's the boss, and the only way you could do that is a best of three rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> Uh, in the meantime, Chats punched in a new character here from Country Buns, Manchego Villa. Manchego Villa. I'm not sure how to pronounce the first word. Uh, he's 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 Mousican. Mount Mousexican. Mount Mouse Mexican. Let's see what the AI has to say. Uh, Manchego is a Mousican vaquero who, after not having any luck getting hired by any mouse families, he decides that he will train a, a cult of his own. He prefers to use Mustangs, but is questionable for the purity of the breed. Seems like he raises, he's a, he's a mouse that raises life-size horses. <laughs> life-size. <laughs> I don't know how it works, but he's got like, like human horses. <laughs> Incredible. Oh my gosh. And another one. Sorry. Uh, I got one more here from Red Gamer Soul. James Rattail. Let me punch them in and see who they are. Sounds like a guy I was in grade two with. Oh God! Right. Did you did you ever have like an embarrassing haircut, like the rat tail or anything like that? Yep. Did you actually? Well, not. Yes. 
Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Watch yeah, that one my, back pretty quick. Yeah, yeah, my brother and I did. It was like a two for one deal. <laughs> <laughs> Good lord. Uh, what about you, Daniel? Did you ever have an embarrassing haircut? Oh, yeah. My mom oh. cut my hair for years and years and years, and it was like a real, real uh, severe comb over. Oh, funny. Yeah. I also tucked in my shirt into my pants until I was in grade eight. What? When someone I'm... told me, like, you know, you can just, like, you can just have the shirt, like, out and, like, wave it around. And, <laughs> it revolutionized my fashion. I don't know. It's too vulnerable for me. I'm tucked in always. <laughs> um,. Before you press on, I've got one more. Red Gamer Soul here redeemed James Rattail. The AI describes them as a rival archaeologist who's just as ruthless as he is charming. Rattail is a highly skilled archaeologist and an old rival. Rattail, <laughs> unlike, uh, what's our character's name again? Sorry. Brooklyn uh, Squeaks. 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 Yeah, I'm going to change this here to, to Squeaks. Um, Rattail, unlike Squeaks, doesn't care about human life and has killed dozens of people, uh, including, according to this, Squeaks' his own wife and daughter. I don't know if we need to go that far. <sighs> no but. wonder we're so angry. Oh, man. <laughs> We've become the villain. All right. That's James Rattails in the, uh, in the thing here, too. All right. Also, Chantel, oh. that's either a tiny, tiny horse or a really big mouse. <laughs> <laughs> It's a life-size horse, Jack. Horses oh, can live at that size. Can yeah? Yeah, it's a miniature, small. One of those miniature ponies. A miniature, a baby miniature pony. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Where would you like to pick up? From? All right. Let's go from. Uh, okay, you say let's play rock paper scissors. Okay. You say. Let's play rock, paper, scissors. Best two out of three. Win is the boss. I am better at this game than you. She wrote towards. <laughs> Not a chance. You lie. What if I... What if I tie? Then we draw. What if I win? Then you are the boss. <laughs> Fair enough. She agrees. You both hold out your hands. Ready? Go! You both start. Rock, paper, scissor. <laughs> Shall I count? Oh. <laughs> I think we're alternating. I oh. see. Rock! Oh. <laughs> they don't uh, know paper! How to play Sorry, this I didn't game. see that part. <laughs> <laughs> they just yell words at each other. <laughs> Shall I. Uh, wait, now I'm doing you. Uh, Shall I count? No! You scream. You both slam your fists down. Prep. No, it's really? uh, it squeaks. He says crap. Oh, oh, <laughs> crap! Really? Yeah. <laughs> I won. What? I won. Are you sure? Positive. Well, <laughs> you smile. I guess that makes you the boss. You gesture to the cave. Lead on, boss. <laughs> Who got it? Get this guy killed. <laughs> <laughs> She smiles. You both walk into the dark cavern. Your footsteps echo in the empty caves. Where is everybody? You ask. Uh, probably out looking for treasure. She jokes. <laughs> huh. Or Are... getting drunk. Or both. She laughs. Uh, ha ha. You walk past a statue. It's a statue of a mouse. Of a mouse. Uh, I guess you you push the statue. <laughs> oh yeah, I've seen this before. <laughs> yeah, I get it. You, you push the statue. There's some, a door opens and uh, you get through. It's great. Uh, oh, hold on. Oh, here it is. Rock. <laughs> <laughs> Paper. <laughs> One of these days it's gonna work. <laughs> Oh, is this a, is this our uh, mouse statue, Chantel? Yeah. Oh, look how reverent it is, looking up to the sky. What could it possibly mean? I'm curious to see what the scale of this is. We've got another one. A two. Yeah. 
All right, you inspect the statue for a moment, and then push it, hoping to find a secret entrance. Huh? You groan. What? It moved. So what? So? You shake your head. Nothing. And? And what? And? What do you say to this, to this irate character that you've been pushed into the cave with? Yeah, Brooklyn. they're your boss say, now, too. I say, yeah. listen, you're the boss. <laughs> I'm pushing statues. What are you doing? <laughs> Sitting on your tail. <laughs> now, for me, you'd be in jail right now. That's true. <laughs> Shot in the face. Ungrateful. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Okay. So I got two more characters here. Uh, one from, uh, sorry, King of Autumn has redeemed Pluto Coatsworth. Here's what the AI has to say about Pluto Coatsworth. Pluto Coatsworth is a mysterious new character in the series. It is a series now. <laughs> he is known for being secretly affiliated with the underground world during the times of Pikmin. He has the ability to control shadows and can see through things. I'm not sure about this one, guys. I might, I'm going to take another pass at Pluto Coatsworth. All right, here we go. Temp two. Pluto Coatsworth is a wolf trapper, but is more closely related to mice than he is with coyotes. He has befriended the mice of Mysu Pichu and helped them defeat the vicious coyotes. Oh. That's kind of fun. A little bit of history there. Uh, Chantel, maybe this uh, can this scene with the with the statues be depicting the great uh, Pluto Coatsworth coming to their rescue or something? Absolutely. And the second one is a character named Gob Blue <laughs> A cave spider. Let me oh. see here. Oh, 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 yeah. Oh, man. Anybody arachnophobic here? Thank God. All right. Here's Gob Blue Gob Blue is a cave spider. Ah! The... <laughs> I'm so sorry. I, uh, yes, I am right. <laughs> Jesus Christ. One of the largest spiders living in the caves. Gob is a beast of burden and is often found hauling barrels, kegs, and other supplies to the soldiers in the dark night camp. He's very meticulous in his work and is very protective of the barrels he transports. He's not much of a talker but he does enjoy telling stories of his heroic exploits in the Dark Knight camp. So, professional poet, writer, and mouse eater. <laughs> Scary. And he likes carrying barrels, I guess. <laughs> the secret of barrels. All right. Carry on with the text. Wait uh, one second. Where oh, are sorry. we here? Hang on. Uh... Oh, we haven't met them yet, Chantel. You don't have to worry. That's a really fast you, though. spider, though. Well, it was done. a really fast was spider really and fast. horrifying. <laughs> <I'm> so, <laughs> Ready to go. Ah, oh, you're doing great. Oh yeah, we're still like just on the adventure. We haven't met any other characters or anything yet. Those are just people that the AI has uh, seated in now. That All might right. come up. So, um, let's go from. Uh, well, let's go back a little bit further. You inspect the statue for a moment. All right. Yeah. Uh, you inspect the statue for a moment, and then you push it, hoping to find a secret entrance. Huh! You groan. What? It moved. So what? So? You shake your head. Nothing. And? And what? And? Listen, you're the boss. I'm pushing statues. What are you doing? I got bored. You could have gotten me killed! Do you think I care? No! Good. You continue down the dark cavern. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What? What, what? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Come on. You feel a breeze, and it could mean an exit. You race towards the breeze. Where are you going? I told you. I meant, where are you running? To the exit. Why? Because... Wait. Oh, shit. Oh, okay. shit. I think we're reversed. Back up, back up, back up. All right. Yeah, yeah. Go back to... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I go back to the what, and whoever said that, say the other person. <laughs> uh, I think uh, Feta okay. says the first one. I'll say, where are you going? Right? Oh, yeah. Is that where? Okay. Where are you going? 
I told you. I meant, where are you running? To the exit. Why? Because... <laughs> I don't like this place. Why not? Because it's creepy. Ah, what are you afraid of? Cave spider. <laughs> <gasps> you say... Oh, shit. Oh, whoa. Oh, my God. You Sorry, I thought you were joking. found the entrance, but in the way is a huge cave spider. <laughs> oh, no. That's it. You shout. I am out of here. You turn back and run. Wait. You ignore her. You can't go. Oh, sorry. You, you can't go out there. Why not? Because. She screams. It's a maze. A what? <laughs> and. Uh, so I didn't hear what uh, whatever she said it was. So I guess uh, I'm just going out there. Yeah, all right. Keep rolling. running straight out. To hell with these spiders. <laughs> Everything's terrifying all of a sudden. I'm just an archaeologist murderer. I do not sign up. I just make holes. I just make holes in people, gravel, anything that it needs. But a spider, that's asking a little much. You trip out the exit and fall into a maze crawling with cave spiders. Oh! <laughs> Don't worry, she shouts. I'll find you. Why would she do that? <laughs> I don't know. But, Wait, but who what? are you talking to now? I don't Wait. know. I don't know. You won't find her. Can we sip the haze? She will. Yeah, let's do a little little drink to forget business here. Let's try this dialogue again. Find you. I wanted to see where that was going, actually. I, um, I mean, that's it. That's where it's going. <laughs> right? yeah. So we'll say, don't worry, she shouts. I'll find you. Um, uh, but uh, it's you yeah. hope she <laughs> will find you soon. There we go. I'm down here for with the... all the cave spiders. <laughs> I told you not to go out that hole. Is a cave spider like a specific kind of spider? Or is yeah, it just... it's a spider that you find in a cave, Jack. That's right. Is that it? Yeah. Those like... spiders belong in museum. <laughs> <laughs> I hope not. No, Jesus Christ. <laughs> well, unless it's not cave spiders, it's the husks, the moltings of the one cave spider. All over oh, the God. Maze. Do they molt? Well, it's cave spiders, spiders can do whatever they want, I guess. Yeah, yeah, you know, cave spiders, the ones that live <laughs> yeah. in caves and molt. Yeah, cave spider. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah see? All right. Oh, there we go. Uh, oh, my God. Good Christ. Oh. You hope <laughs> she'll find you soon, for cave spiders are closing in. You pull out your pistols. You shoot and kill a spider. Uh, I think hello? she yells. Hello? What are you doing here? No. What are you doing here? I'm fighting. Why? Because. Ah, oh, it's shit. backwards. All right, so well, she hears the gunshot, and she's like, what are you doing? <laughs> so does he say... So All right. say so wait, do you say I, hello? Then? Can I, I can say, I say we're going to sip to Haze. Hello. Look, let's, let's, <laughs> that's what we can do. If we can do, bang, hello. <laughs> <laughs> Daniel, you're a wonderful actor, and that and that um, justifies this moment perfectly. <laughs> I, I just want to say that in light of what I'm about to say. What's happening right here is the AI has decided... <laughs> <laughs> we are just in a never-ending argument because <laughs> it's reading what's behind us, okay? Right, so yeah, okay. if we don't, if, like, and you two are great. You're justifying this like crazy. I believe in every minute of it. But the point is, we're never going to go anywhere All right. if we keep doing this. So we're going to sip to haze. You shoot and kill a spider. And what we're going to do is we're going to push on, and eventually the argument will be so far behind us <laughs> right. we no longer will will affect the text. You shouldn't kill a spider. Um, but two more... Um, <laughs> Shut uh, up. That spider turns cute. into eight spiders. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no. Oh, every arm becomes another spider. Yeah. Chantel, have... does this spider have, like, hands on its knee joints or something? It, it's got hairy knees. Oh, got it. Got it. It's it's Ooh, horrific. Who does not? It's, it, yeah. I will say, uh, you've got this, the image of the maze above it, but because it's like perspective wise behind the spider, it looks like they've just yeah. drawn a, a handy map for us. <laughs> Could be. It's quite nice. That's, it's cool. 
Very thoughtful of them. Is there a you are and... here dot somewhere on the maze? Yeah, let's do it right here. Oh, they put a star. That's great. They're so thoughtful. Then... What was our spider's name again, Jack, that we had coming? Our in? spider was named... Uh, Gob Blegia. Gob. Yeah, it's, it's Blue J, but Blue is French. Blue, Blue J. Oh, Blue J. B-L-E-U okay. hyphen J. Oh, it's French. Yes. Oh, Blue oh. J. Put a beret on that spider right now. <laughs> yeah, there, there it is. Right Ask now. and ye shall receive. <laughs> it's kind of like covering some of its eyes. <laughs> so Last time them. I put a beret on... Uh, Stingray. It's this time true. I'm putting a beret on us. Your roots are showing. It's everywhere. <laughs> well, I am French Canadian, so. Is, yes. Oh, what? Chantel Cordeaux, you? French Canadian? <laughs> it just looks the... like the spider is going. It does. It's just like gaping maw. Chantel, can you remind us what your full name is? Isaac always like tries to rattle it off, but oh, he loves to drop that in. It's uh, yeah. Chantal Genevieve Bordeaux. Oh man, <laughs> yeah. All right. Sounds expensive. <laughs> 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 it sounds like a bottle I wouldn't want to order. <laughs> One that they wouldn't list, uh, list the price for. Yeah. <laughs> Did you make it out of web now? Is that why it's white? I'm or trying is it just to make like it more obvious, but I like that idea. Oh, okay. Yeah. Now it now it's like a pear. <laughs> it's just got like a, a thatched pear on its head. All right. Can we get out of this maze? Yeah. Sorry. What's the situation, Eric? I'm trying just to give enough. Ah, oh, crap. I spelled French. Did you Wait. say you have a French voice calling. <laughs> yes. Oh, All right, man. You hope she will. Uh, she hope you find you soon. For the cave spiders are closing in. You pull out your pistols. You shoot and kill a spider. Two more crawl over it. You have to think fast or soon you'll be spider grub. You take off at a run. You hear a French voice calling over the maze. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is like our seagull uh, from American Tale. Yeah. Channel Marie Chevalier. <laughs> You will never find the lost city that way, little mouse. You look up so and handsome. see Jean Bluget, the cave spider above you. You spelled blue the English way. <laughs> Shit. Crap. His one identifying factor. <laughs> what are you talking about, Jack? You're crazy. I've, I've got you. I've got it's you not the English blue at all. Oh, you're right. I'm sorry. Oh, man. I must have dyslexia. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, I feel your pain, and I won't judge you. Thanks, bud. You look up and see Jean Bluget, the, the cave spider above you. I know. You grin. But I might die trying. And what makes it... <laughs> what makes care. you think you will find it? Because... Why am I her again? Anyway. You shrug. <laughs> it's there. Have you searched everywhere? Of course. Have you looked... Underwater? No. <laughs> Sounds like you're you're gonna get drowned by a spider. <laughs> I happen to have a little thing right away. Hey, why don't you check this uh, pond I got? They just find me. Put on these shoes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow, they fit you so well. <laughs> They're really heavy though. The cave oh, water spiders. I know you you can't see this, Craig, but Chantel has our is, is that our hero mouse in the bottom left? Yes, it sure is. Yeah. Just just wailing to the heavens. His head is upturned, <laughs> his mouth is like thirty-three percent of his body crying out. No. Oh, All right. <laughs> you look around and see a giant pool in the middle of the maze. Uh-huh. Our uh. city is in that water. No! She shakes her head. That is a mirage. Oh, I am not falling for that. <laughs> it's not real. I can see it! You point to the pool of water. <laughs> You're just hallucinating. What I do you do, Daniel? Gas slide you? <laughs> dive into the pool of water head first. Like, dive, not even with oh, the Oh, man. Like, straight Swan. pencil dive. <laughs> 
straight to the spine. <laughs> I, I have so no much faith first. in myself as an archaeologist. <laughs> Archaeologists aren't fooled by mirages like you normal people. <laughs> mm. <laughs> oh, Lord. I feel like he, he just got his about... job at the museum by, by sheer like chutzpah alone. <laughs> <laughs> <It was> like, <laughs> he must be right. He's so They're confident. Like, if we don't hire him, he might kill us. <laughs> Whoa. I don't trust him. Chantel has written in the water the word pool in fancy <laughs> flowing water letters. <laughs> Just so you know, it's not a mirage. It's well labeled, documented pool. All right, go for it. Um, you dive. Oh, crap. <laughs> dive starlight in. Wow. Starlight in. That's a beautiful statement. Uh, so it's a dive, but it's like it's arms out and legs out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's just like spread eagle. <laughs> no, I can't. Do it. Fuck, starlight like a belly is. Flop, I but keep a hitting head the first. wrong autocorrect. Damn it! Yeah, I'm... I'll, I got you. I fixed it. You're good. Okay. He's not very good at diving. He's just a mouse, after all. <laughs> what does he know? He, what does he know if I'm a fucking dive? <laughs> you drive. Not by the Olympics. <laughs> you dive straight into the pool. <laughs> <laughs> You surface. I see you. Fa uh, who am uh, I? See you. Who found is this? It. A new this person. This is the French person. No? French. Okay. I think it's French man, spider. Okay. Oh man, I've done so many now. I can't remember how French sounds. But you uh, know what? You have done more than five, and we're not even halfway done. <laughs> oh my Yay! God. I see you found it. I did. The Bridge of Rainbows. Yeah. Why? <laughs> because. <laughs> <laughs> because it is there. You are a strange rodent. <laughs> That's what my wife used to call me. <laughs> oh no! I thought she was horribly funny. <laughs> I That's feel a song I... coming on. Is oh an no! <laughs> an, an emotional, emotional ballad, moment, baby. Oh, yeah. oh man! Oh boy! That's right. That is that is the moment it would begin. <laughs> <laughs> is is the bridge of rainbows like what's on the other side of this? Uh, I think what of it the is. pool leading us to the city. Yeah, I think mm -hmm. it's leading us. So I, I don't think it's on the other side. I think it's in the. We see the reflecting refracting light under the water, making a. Um, I thought a, we already dove through. No, I think we, we well, do he, into the lake, and then we see then the bridge surfaced. of rainbows underneath, right? And we surfaced, and now we're talking to the spider. Oh, um, okay, so we're back on the same side still. Chantel, are you ready to draw more underwater things? <laughs> <laughs> so ready. Oh, well, there it is. The bridge of... Uh, 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 <laughs> rainbows. If that's the order rainbows existed. <laughs> <I guess. laughs> the classic uh, red, blue... Pink, green, yellow, pitch black. <laughs> the entire spectrum. Yeah, what's that's the whole spectrum. What's the acronym for that again? Roy G. Biv. B. 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 Yeah, the rub B. B. No vowels on this. Um, on this rainbow. All right. That bridge. Oh, no, we're going. We don't need vowels. <laughs> 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 All right. What are you thinking, Eric? Um, uh, um, wow. Oh, no. Uh, oh, oh, no. I had what? such a thing that I was writing, and then the AI screwed. No. Ah, oh, crap. did you lose it? Give me a minute again. Fuck. Oh, Riff shoot. Jack. No, it just hey, went away. you could, if you, uh, shit, I don't know. All are, right. Are you clicking something? It just. I'm not um, clicking anything, no. Oh, no. I've just um, got my Reaper in front of me. I'm so sorry. Maybe I, no, it, sorry, the, the, the page keeps refreshing for me. Oh, that happened to me earlier as well. It refreshed like seven or eight times in a row. It's Mine's not doing now. that right now. Why don't you dictate it to me and I'll type it real fast. No, just give me one second. What if okay. I just hit refresh? Will it oh, stop maybe. doing this? Craig, did you ever play like those old uh, text adventure games growing up? Yes. Oh, Space my God. Quest, King's Quest, uh, oh, yeah. 
oh my god yeah and it and it would say uh like you would be like grab gun this program is too stupid to be and you <laughs> yeah, had to, yeah. Like, it had to be the right word like obtain to. gun <laughs> yeah and there was you have a favorite the, one of those Ooh. uh i really liked the comedy of space quest but as far as story goes i like the king's quest ones hell yeah and now, i was those never are good like, at police quest wait remind me oh, god they're all quest 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 yeah, yeah um yeah. king's quest i thought was like a point and click did King's Quest have like typing things as well? Yeah, yeah, it sure oh, did. Shit. I oh, died man. several times by the witch. Yep. <laughs> and then you have to grab the ham and feed it to the friggin' lion at the top of the staircase because Sleeping Beauty's in there. And if you don't have a ham, the lion eats you and game over, man. There's no save. <laughs> That's incredible. <laughs> Do you have a favorite in the King's Quests? Because there's like, what, seven of them? Mm, yeah. Uh, we had our Tandy 1000, you see. A, a witch? A Tandy 1000. I'm not sure what that is. T-A-N-D-Y 1000. Okay. Is it like a computer or a console? Yeah, it's a whole, it's like, it's like a, yeah, it's a, it's a whole thing. It's a, ooh, sorry. It's a whole computer, but it was okay. the, in like the mid nineties. It was our first computer. And, uh. Oh yeah. It was released in 1984 and you got it in the mid nineties. <laughs> well, then maybe mid eighties. <laughs> Wow. Okay. Anyway, uh, yeah, but we we couldn't. Oh, we also had Leisure Suit Larry. Did you ever oh, see God. that? Oh God. Yeah. So yeah. Leisure Suit Larry, we had to hide. I had it duct taped to the back of my sliding uh, closet door <laughs> because my parents <laughs> wouldn't let us play with it. Of course. So yeah. Yeah, it's inappropriate. It's it's it also like so horrible. <laughs> It's so inappropriate. The, the, my favorite <laughs> part of those games, though, is to make sure that you were the right age to play them. They would just ask you questions that you couldn't possibly know as a child. Yeah. It would be like yeah. facts about 1952. Yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> and we didn't have the internet, so how could I know? That's right. What are you going to do, read? <laughs> I never actually played them. I played Full Throttle. Did anyone play Full Throttle? Mm. Yeah. No. That was a sick one. Is that the motorcycle one? Yeah, that's the LucasArts. You're a biker dude. And, Full uh, Throttle. Yeah. Uh, Trying to pull this one up. Did you play Full Throttle, uh, 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 Daniel? Yeah, I sure did. I loved that game. I was if you were to kid. pitch Full Throttle to me, what what is it? Um, it's a uh, it's a a, a a a mystery revenge tale centered on a uh, the leader of a bike gang who has betrayed his bike stolen and left for dead. But guess what? He's still alive, and he's going to track down all of the guys who used to be a part of his gang because there's a bruising coming. Well, that wow. sounds pretty rad. That sounds a lot. Anyway, I like that <laughs> stuff. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, I don't know. Moving briskly forward. <laughs> no, that's cool. Did you play Full Throttle as well, Craig? Uh, I can't remember Full Throttle. I, I did, however, play Spy Hunter. Any... Spy Hunter. So, oh, I did know that one. Is, is anyone else? Are you are you all eighties babies? Because I'm very, I'm slightly past eighties baby. Barely an eighties baby. I'm okay, so the I very was, last eighties baby. Okay, so I was born in seventy eight, and I think there might be a five year or so difference between our games that we played. But Spy Hunter was just this game where you were this uh, white spy car that shot pew 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 and you had to shoot your way through things and it just be like a avoid the obstacles but then there'd be helicopters that come in and they do crazy things and then you'd see this uh big rig and then you'd have to get up in the big rig and then you win the level but <laughs> good lord it was stressful and don't even get me started on frogger but... do you still play games at all is are games like a thing that uh, you like i yeah i i like playing games with my son we have a switch just over there uh and we are learning how to beat the crap out of each other in uh, Smash Brothers. So. Nice! Yeah. Aw, classic! <laughs> that a Just the, it's yeah, a father-son bonding moment. <laughs> that's fun. <fabulous. laughs> no, that's cool. Do you ever play anything on your own, or is it mostly just, like, with your uh, kids? No, no, it's mostly, yeah, mostly, if I have time to myself, I'm with them, taking them to a park or whatever, but oh. I wish. I that's wish. Sweet. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I didn't have to take them to a park or whatever. <laughs> yeah, dang kids. At what point do you feel like you like dropped off of playing games and, and doing that as a hobby? Uh, I know exactly when. It was the moment I hand my Xbox to my friend Chad and said, I evidently won't be needing this anymore. And <laughs> you're welcome to have all of this in my games. And uh, one of my favorite games was uh, 
Burnout Revenge. Oh yeah. And it was like street racing, and then yeah. but if somebody clips you, the screen goes red and goes. <laughs> And it's like, this is the person that just scratched your paint. Get them. <laughs> and then you get extra there was points a, for killing. Yeah, they were all built around just like crazy, ridiculous car wrecks and like yeah, yeah, crazy yeah. physics and stuff. There's a whole, that was the whole point of when the side task was you, they give you like a ice cream truck and a ramp and you have to guide yourself in the air to create the most damage possible. Oh man, <laughs> that's wonderful. What a delight. Beautiful. What about you, Daniel? I don't think I think we ever asked. Did you ever play games at all? Yeah, I, I'm. I was and am a big gamer. I just got uh, PS uh, PSN had has like a free like two or three free games that they give you a month. And mm-hmm. speaking of uh, playing stuff from my childhood, the uh, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater mm. One and Two Remaster uh, yes. came out a while ago, and they did it for free. So I've been playing that and just remembering. All oh, of man. the hours that I listen to ska music. Uh, exactly. <laughs> like, I'm not into ska, but like. Thing. But when I'm skateboarding, yes. oh my. He like, yeah, I'm doing everything I can. <laughs> oh my God. It was, uh, it was, we, uh, Isaac and I, we finished the gig with Craig, and between shows one afternoon, uh, Isaac busted the PS4 out and was like, You want to play Tony Hawk? He fucking cleaned my <laughs> clock. <laughs> uh, we'd play horse, but we'd put like random weird words in there to, to play horse against. I never once got a letter on him. Um, but those games are just so delightful, fun. Um, and when you get into the flow of them as well, they're just so relaxing, too. Ah, it's very fun. Uh, that's a great one. I forgot those were free this month. I, I, am I too late to pick that up? Uh, I, I don't know. I've been be. away. Uh, all right. We do have text. Oh, man. Thank you. Where do you want to pick up from? Under the water. Okay. Under the water, the light refracting makes a rainbow path, showing you an underwater tunnel out of the maze and towards the lost city of Machu Picchu. Goodbye, beret wearing spider. I will never forget you. You say and swim along the rainbow path. You emerge from the pool in an ice fountain in the lost city of Machu Picchu. Hey! You hear a chorus of voices. Who are you? You turn around. The mass of this strange new world are staring at you. I'm... You're a stranger. I am. And? They all stare at you with blank eyes. What? How no, long no, have I you... think that's the, the other way around. Oh, I see. What? <laughs> How long have you been here? No, sorry. No, you're right. You're right. Never mind. <laughs> what? <laughs> Well, now I, it doesn't feel real. <laughs> uh, I broke, I broke, well, broke, make we it work. <laughs> How long have you been here? Not too long. Where did you come from? From your name, Brooklyn. <laughs> Where are you from? Also Brooklyn. Well. <laughs> you smile. I, I am, am from... Beyond the mountain. You are from the beyond. Exactly. You are a wizard? I am not. Ah, are you a sorcerer? No. Then what are you? I am an archaeologist. Ah. End of Act One. (laughs) 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 Jesus Christ. Incredible, guys. We we made it, and you know what? We only had to fight with the AI a little bit with that little yeah. argumentative business. That wasn't too bad, you know. But this text is different. This actually had a point to this text. <laughs> I, I really laughed at the part where, because remember before it was like and, and 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 it put it in there again. You are a stranger. I am and. <laughs> it, it <brought laughs> a lot of leading questions here. <laughs> Use your words. Go on. Uh huh. <laughs> Um, I've prepared a, a trivia game for you guys for our okay. little our little half game here. Chantel, would you would you be so kind as to make me like a little scoreboard, even if it's just in the corner of this image because it's just so pretty. I want I want this. Oh, well, let's do that. We'll, 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 come, we'll come back to this. Cheeky All cheeky. right, okay. Scoreboard, okay. Scoreboard. Uh, if you'd like Just to play playing. along as well, go ahead and and put your name in there. 
Um, so in order of tonight's adventure, featuring a mouse traveling the world, I thought I'd present to you a series of adventures, true stories of people's pets or wild animals going the extra mile, traveling great distances or saving lives. You guys ready? Yeah. Let's begin. Here's number one. In 1914, Private James Brown from Staffordshire, England, was one of the first troops sent to France when war was declared on Germany. A few weeks later, Private Brown was astonished to discover that his Irish terrier, Prince, had also come to France, ready to take on the Germans by his side. How did Prince get there? Did he get on up in the jet purple rain? As James Brown and Prince were in. <laughs> no, though I, I will say, like, what a what a wonderful naming convention has occurred here by accident. <laughs> Chantel, it's very kind of you to in involve me in my own <laughs> game scoreboard. <laughs> Please give me three points off the bat. Thank you. I'll get actually I'll get one point for every time someone gets the question wrong. So I've got one so far. Thank, <gasps> thank you. Whoa! Wow. I don't know if this is a fair game. <laughs> well, I don't know if life is fair, Eric. Anybody else got a guess? Well. Go ahead and shout him out. How did Prince get there to meet James Brown in France? Doggy paddle? Yeah, yeah, he swam the English Channel. channel. I was going to say the English the Channel. The entire thing. He just he swam it. <laughs> he disappeared from uh, from the house one day. Prince uh, soon became the mascot for the regiment, remained in France for the rest of the war, often bearing messages between soldiers on the field. They, made they went him home to work. He didn't. He didn't die. Yeah, they, they put him to work. <laughs> I will say that the Royal Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals is said to have investigated thoroughly and quote established its authenticity beyond doubt, leaving it to stand as one of the most amazing dog journeys in history. Wow. And question number two: I take you from the sea to the air. A bird named Yusuke escaped his cage in Tokyo and got lost. Without any collar, identification ship, or missing posters, he was able to hitch a ride home and was dropped off at his own front door by the veterinarian. How is this possible? He was tattooed with the address. <laughs> no, that's a point for me. He was a parrot and could say the name of the address. <laughs> the yeah. veterinarian was also a hot air balloon pilot. <laughs> and <laughs> caught him on his pool pad. <laughs> yes, this right. is the, like uh, he, the veterinarian was named Dr. Doodiddle. <laughs> his name was sorry. What was his name? Eric? Do diddle. Doctor Do diddle. Doctor Do diligence. Yeah. Eric is Dr. correct. Dewey Yusuke... decimal system. <laughs> Dewey decimal system. <laughs> Eric is indeed correct. Yusuke is a parrot, and his owners had been teaching him how to say his full name, Mister uh, Mister Yusuke Nakamura, and his address down to the house number for the last two years, just in case they got separated like this. Oh my god. Wow. Yeah, is that incredible? So they'd be like, there's a parrot here. What, what's your name? To be like, my name is Yusuke Nakamura, and I live at 123 Tokyo Street. <laughs> incredible. Here's number three. Now that we're home again, Terry McGlade, a U.S. Marine, is home alone one night with his service dog, Major. McGlade begins to suffer a seizure, and it could be fatal without medical attention. How did Major save his life? Called 911. Yeah, didn't the dog call 911? Yeah, dude, the, the yeah. dog Wait, fully actually? just called 911. Yeah. yeah, so Major, Those he service pulled... animals, God, they Isn't that them. incredible? They... He pulls oh. the guy's cell phone, McGlade's cell phone, out of his pocket, and with his paw hits the, like, call emergency service button. The emergency services pick up. They hear a dog panting on barking on the other side. They're like, this sounds like a joke. So... They hang up on him. He calls them again. They hang up again. They call him a third time. Then they hear McGlade in the background, and they're like, oh, shit, we got to get over there. It's Latin. Lassie for a modern day. Isn't that incredible? What, what's that boy? Uh, a major's having a seizure? <laughs> Bring two cc's of pepperoni stat. Wow. <laughs> Apparently the uh, major also met them by the front door and uh, led them over to um, to Terry McLeod's when they arrived. So that's another point I believe point he offered Eric. them coffee too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he put them on. He's a black yeah. lab, so probably just a real dark roast. <laughs> <laughs> and we move on now from saving a life to all-out rescue. In 2005, a 12-year-old Kenyan girl was kidnapped by four men while walking home from school. The kidnappers, however, were attacked and chased off by a pack of three wild animals. What came to her rescue? Ferrets. Bash. Parrots. No, not no, parrots. Ferrets. I get a point. Ferrets? No. I a still get a point. Chantel, of... what, what did you say? I said bats. No, not bats. 
They're wild well, animals? They are wild animals. Are yes. they raccoons, the ninjas of the night? No, not raccoons, the ninjas of the night. Beret wearing spiders. No, think bigger. Elephants. Large beret wearing spiders. <laughs> <laughs> a blue no. whale. <laughs> Smaller than a blue whale. Damn it. Um, a gray whale. All right. We're in bigger Kenya. Than a bread box. A, uh, in it Kenya? is bigger than a bread box. Lions. A pride of lions. Get out of here. The That's kidnapped the were chased story. off by three lions who guarded the victim until police arrived to rescue her. Yeah, they were. Wait, police wait, say on. that they found wait, the girl. What? Sorry, go ahead. They guarded her? Uh, yeah, the, the police say that they found the girl shocked and terrified and surrounded by lions. The massive beast quickly disappeared when, or dispersed, they didn't like vanish, when officers arrived. She was bruised from being manhandled by the kidnaps, but the lions never laid a paw on her. Now, hmm. lion experts and skeptics alike say it's possible that the lions were planning to eat the girl themselves, but were dissuaded by her crying, which sounds a lot like the sound of a baby lion cub. Either way, these lions should be oh. celebrated for the heroes that they truly are. Maybe they were just saving her for later. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all these pesky adults showed up. If we eat her later, <laughs> she'll grow. <laughs> <laughs> That's worth more food later. That's my little trivia game. Chantel, uh, you, Chantel, <laughs> did you not give any points out? I think that's I... three, three for Eric total, I think. <laughs> And Daniel Swam the got English one, Channel. I was asked to draw a scoreboard. I was not informed on the scoring system. <laughs> it's been very difficult to keep track of who's getting points and for what. Valid. Fair. Eric, congratulations. Thanks. You've earned yourself more work. Would you like to give us a recap of the story for, so far? Sure. Five, oh, never mind. Hold on. Let's wait and see here. Whoa. Daniel yeah, got, got 500. 500. Craig's Greg got a, a pentagram. A, st a star, Jack. <laughs> I've got... Uh, a small <laughs> rat. Chantel, what have you got? Probably an octopus. Okay. <laughs> well, that's worth All right. at least eight. Then it, I'm going to say Daniel with the rousing 500 points takes it. Daniel, why don't you give us a, uh, with t two circles, Daniel, give us a, a recap of the story so far before we dive into our act two. All right, so, so far, uh, Brooklyn Squeaks has been sent by uh, the University of Cambridge faculty uh, to find the lost city of Mouse Chupichu. Um, he finds the only person who knows where the entrance is, but she's been arrested. So he murders and cold <laughs> both the deputy and the sheriff. <laughs> After confusing them with a wild Hail Mary pass of breaking a bottle of whiskey. Um, they find the entrance. Uh, they're brought there by a, a horse and carriage, obviously drawn by a uh, armadillo. Uh, and they get to the entrance. They dig their own hole in. They have an argument over who's boss. It's decided fairly quickly and severely, you know. Uh, and uh, so then he finds a statue. They did something with the statue? I don't really remember. They pushed, <laughs> and they they pushed, pushed it. it, and that did something. And then they found themselves uh, being chased by a spider. Uh, and then the spider said, look at that pool over there. You don't want to go in there. And he said, and that, uh, Squeaks, the, ever the hero, says, oh, don't I? And he starve light jumps into the pool, uh, finds uh, the rainbow bridge, comes back up, confirms that it is, in fact, the rainbow bridge leading him to Mouse Chupichu. Uh, and with that, he leaves behind uh, the uh, uh, French spider. Now, he finds himself uh, uh, facing the underground uh, chud-like mice who are t asking him where he's from. He's being very cagey about it. Uh, and he's starting to understand that there's a separation of uh, uh, underground living in, and uh, terms and upper ground living in terms. So he's only waiting to figure out how many more mice he's going to have to kill to get to where he wants to go. A wonderful recap. Thank you. He's also an archaeologist. <laughs> <laughs> and he's not ashamed to tell you. Mm -mm -mm. All, right, All right. Well, we did Take it. We found the lost city of Maitsu Picchu. We did do and that. And we're, we're being surrounded by the locals. Little do we know, That's it's right. a lost city of cave mice who also speak our language, but hey. Very convenient. We'll, we'll uh, just skip that part. Yeah. Um, and we're here. What do we do, Daniel? What's our first move? 
Um, we gotta, we gotta plant a flag, so we're gonna have to, uh, <laughs> explain to these people why this is important, uh, and just tell them, nobody move, I've got a flag. <laughs> nobody move, colonialism. <laughs> this is all getting shipped to a museum very soon. <laughs> Let's just pack up the pile of gravel, ship it on over. <laughs> I present to you in these 5,000 boxes. <laughs> the lost city of Mo Mouse to Pichu. <laughs> but it's it's mice, so it is only little boxes. Yeah, you're right, tiny little boxes. Yeah, the museum just the guy just holds them in his hand. He's fine. Mm -hmm. Chantel, where where would you say this is in the world? The the lost city here. The the match of Mice to Pichu. Yeah, where is it? Uh. uh my brain is really struggling to combine mice and Peru into some kind of fun. Uh, yeah, it's Peru. Right they, underneath they Machu Picchu. It's underground mice Peru. I could have sworn this was Nebraska. Oh, yeah, wait, Kentucky, we're in the West. Tennessee. California. Oh, yeah. All right, you pull out a flag from your bag and say, Nobody move! I got a flag! <laughs> I got to plant this so my boss knows that this is all, that this all has got to be taken to the museum. Oh. Uh, my oh. AI is doing the refresh thing right okay, now. Okay, okay. Did uh, that happen to you too? No, I, I got text. Oh, that. weird, okay. But, the mousey says, This place was here forever. That is correct. But why? Why? Why are you always digging up our little town? I am an archaeologist. It's my job. You must think we're ignorant. What do you say to that, Daniel? It's not that you're ignorant. <laughs> it's that you think differently from us. And that cannot be tolerated. <laughs> Oh boy! Wow, we're a horrible mouse person. <laughs> yeah, if you think about Indiana Jones from any other perspective than yeah, his literally own perspective, he's kind of an asshole. He kills oh, so. a lot Wait, of people. Oh. Like he just he murders a lot of people. Does he actually? Yeah. And it's not like he's James Bond. He doesn't have a license to kill. He's not on like reconnaissance for the. I guess the government asked him to check it out in the first movie. But like other than that, he's kind of just. I've got a gun and fuck you. Yeah. Also, most of those things do not belong in a museum. They belong where you found them. <laughs> in a museum. Leave it. Take a picture. <laughs> just build a museum around where we found it. Nah. <laughs> I'm just gonna oh. instead of say you can't be tra tra uh, uh, means. Yeah, uh, that's uh, I'm gonna right. say uh, you, and that means right. it's good if we put you in a museum. <laughs> just you. <laughs> what was the name of that? Uh, There's the cheese that, there. <laughs> what was the name of that performance artist that like lived in a glass box in Times Square by Did himself? David Blaine. Like, was it Blaine? Yeah, something like that. I feel uh, like yeah, that's yeah. true. Yeah. Like Whatever for 40 he, days that, or that something. That guy uh, does all the stunts. Yeah. Johnny Knoxville. Mm, yeah, yeah. That, that's the one. It's a museum flag. <laughs> it's just a big flag that says museum. What the hell? Plural. Oh, it's, uh, oh, and put the apostrophe above in the other one so that now it's possessive of the museum. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> all right. Oh, wait, do we have text? One second, I'm just going to oh, okay. write one more. Hey, Barry Carter 2019 is now following us. Welcome, Barry Carter. He also asks, is Daniel doing a Gilbert Godfrey impression? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely not! <laughs> it's never occurred to me until just now. Oh, this, uh, I remember what I wanted to talk about before, and that was, I, I learned recently, James Bond has never served... Anything other than yeah. Queen Elizabeth II. Mm. His first book came out in 1954, and she was inaugurated in 53. Oh. And you've had, you know, books and dozens of films, and 
just like an entire culture around this one character that has existed around a single linchpin in like history. It's wild to me. I don't know what they're going to do for the coming one. It just feels weird to say king and country. I don't like Yeah. All right. Well, on that note, we got text. All right. Cool. Great. Thanks, guys. (laughs) Really feel supported. Got you, buddy. Take it away. (laughs) Um, Let's let's take it from uh, you must think we are ignorant. Okay. You must think we are ignorant. I say. <laughs> uh, I, I lost. Uh, oh, uh, Daniel I, said he's not second. saying anything. It's not sorry. Okay, sorry. Where are we, where are we sorry? Um, from just the last one. You must. You must think we are ignorant. Oh, it's not that you're ignorant. It's just that you think different from us, and that means it's good if we put you in a museum. You are not putting me in a museum. Oh, you are from beyond. Another mouse, he says. <laughs> you must be a musician. I am not a magician. You are. You found the Bridge of Rainbows. I did not. You say. A French spider showed me. <laughs> then you must be a Frenchman. Oh, here we go. No. You shake your head. <laughs> I am from New York. That is where it starts. What? Where the magic begins. Magic? Yes. He says. You are from the new world. I do not think I understand. Are they about to tell us about the history of magic starting in New York City? (laughs) I really hope so. (laughs) Uh, What? What? Sorry. Some <laughs> magical tune, Jack. Start <laughs> spreading the news. <laughs> um, what do you want to say, Daniel? What do we yeah, do? What you got? I do not think I understand. Uh, explain to me where magic comes from. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, why not? As an archaeologist, I am always interested. In history <laughs> and magic and magic. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! First things first, though. Country Buns is redeemed. Sounds like a song. The song is titled "Where the Magic Begins." <laughs> <laughs> do you want to do you want to do the text first? This is like the vamp yeah, to the song. Yeah, this is the vamp. It's our All first right. musical number. It's one of those mouse musicals where they didn't realize it was a musical till three That's quarters of the way in. The process. Yeah, and they're like the kids love songs. All right, this is the one that they hope to. All right, you ask. Where does magic come from? <laughs> Hang on, I'm finding. I'm finding. I'm finding. Where does magic come from? He thinks to himself. Uh, He's magic. Here. Here? Yes. He points at his head. Here. But how? We don't know. That is why you are here. For what? Oh, no, that's got to be backwards. I don't understand. (laughs) That's who's talking. Here. Uh, But how? We don't know. That, oh, maybe that's the other mouse. That is why you're here. For what? To find out. The mousy sings. Sings. All right, Craig, are you down to improvise this song real quick? Yeah, let's do it. Magic had its beginning. Chorus. Magic. 
magic comes from inside you and nowhere else. You can't get it from the dollar store or any place else. <laughs> it comes from deep inside you, like that odd little pustule you had last week, but got rid of with that ointment, and now you're fine. Please <laughs> remember that magic is in you. Also, that was like a tertiary character getting like a big ballad. <laughs> yeah, song you're right. That was like a. <laughs> well, I mean, they got Angela Lansbury for the role, and they thought that you know. Not... <laughs> wow, that was absolutely beautiful. Did you get all that, Eric? Did you Did you type it all in? Yeah. All right. All right. Wow, I, I I can't wait to hear how this looked. They seem to know a lot about my uh, immediate. Uh, specific medical history. I'm not <laughs> sure that I made public in any way. So. Yeah, it's really uncomfortable. And also, I like really they they out. were just calling the outside the beyond, but they know what <laughs> New York City is. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And they maybe it's English? Jersey. Maybe it is Jer beyond just Jersey. <laughs> beyond New Jersey, beyond the border. Wow. Oh. oh Jesus. Oh good. Oh wow. It's... Oh Jesus. You really did. Wow. Yeah. Okay. It's well. I. Let's drink to forget. I stand it. corrected. All right. <laughs> drink to, drink to you forget. You know what? That that song, Craig, was so good it should be put in a museum. It's a long <laughs> hey. oh, There it is. The Museum of Shit. There is one. The by Museum the way, of in Japan. Song. Wait, what? Yes. There's a I it, there's a I think it's Japan. There's a there's a Museum of Shit in it would Japan be. or somewhere. Sounds like another place. song to me. Craig, take it away. <laughs> <laughs> the museum of shit. <laughs> hey, kick line. All right. All right. Why don't you speak this to see how it sounds when you just speak it, Craig? <laughs> Magic had its beginning in New York. And inside your head, no, please put down the fork. You must clear your head and think of cheese, and magic will come and make you weak in your knees. Magic from within you and nowhere else. Not from the dollar store or <laughs> anywhere else. Please remember that magic is within you. Say it. Believe it. And believe in it. I do not believe in... You do not believe in it? No. Why not? Because... Because you don't think it works. But it's all in your mind. It's not in my mind. It's left as an it's open what the, quote. You spend three minutes singing the song about it. <laughs> <laughs> it's exactly where it is. Uh, no, it's not in my mind. It's in your mind, I think. Right? Oh, it's okay. A, oh, maybe it's oh, in never mind. Coatsworth's <laughs> mind. It's out there. It's in... <laughs> oh, Okay. Uh, you don't think it's in? Okay, where are we going from? Uh, you don't believe that? No, you say why not? Because you don't think it works. It's uh, not in my mind. It's out there. Yes. Uh, it's not in my mind. It's out there. It's in. Wait. <laughs> yeah. And then... Yeah. Wait, where's Daniel? Daniel's gone, no! Wait, Daniel's gone! Oh, oh, oh wow, camera oh, and mic yeah. off. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. uh, all right, I'll, I'll play Daniel for a second I hope here. he's okay. I hope I hope you're okay, Daniel. Maybe Fet Freddy Feta's getting him. Uh, hello? Are uh, you here? Hello? Daniel? Hello? Yeah, sorry, yeah, something's going on. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> Everything yeah, good? Yeah, I think so. Hold on. Oh, oh, oh here we go. Okay. Hey. All right. I know okay. you. We were afraid. Yeah. Um, don't leave us that way, Daniel. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, sorry, we're at a, we're at a choice to make because because what? Oof. Um, uh, because uh, uh, a magician killed my wife. What? 
<laughs> oh, we've skipped to the end of the line now. Um, uh, oh, sorry. What? Uh, 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 I do not believe it. So, uh, are we right. before? Oh, it's okay. Hey, it's it's pretty uh, pretty argumentative, anyways. I think we can, we can live with. <laughs> I do not believe it. No. Why? Because you don't think it works. But it's all in your mind. Uh, uh, have you tried? Uh, no. Uh, How can you say this work? Yes, it works. Without, how can you say it works without trying? That's a good point. Chantal, I'm excited to see how you can pictographically represent a magician killed by a wife. <laughs> it's I see one of those uh, saw your girl in half things. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it just keeps going. <laughs> it's fucking melting. It was no, going no, so well. This damn AI. <laughs> Um, God, no, it's, um, oh, man. All right, I'm going to do something. I'm going to delete our author's note and see if it changes anything. What if, what if we just had the other character say, tell me more? <laughs> um, explain that, you know? Um, Oh, this is better. Mm. Ooh. All right. I'm not mad. All right. <laughs> well. More disappointed. Jealous, apparently. <laughs> disappointed. All right. How about we go with, how can you say it works without trying it? Mm. Now, who says that? Hang on. It was the mice. <laughs> mice yeah, math here. mouse. <laughs> okay. How can you say it works without trying it? Because. Because what? A magician killed my wife. What now? He said it was an accident, but I know better. Then you are... No. You're glaring. I am not mad. <laughs> you are jealous. I am not. You are. Then you are not, uh... Yes, yes. <laughs> oh, no. Then not. you are not a... A, a real... Sorcerer? One. Uh, oh, I see. That's in one of yours. Sorry. Yeah. Um, oh, wait. Is there more? Oh, shoot. I'm going to have the mouse from Machu Picchu say something. Yeah. yeah I love it. Sounds good. You are uh, not a, uh, <laughs> a real archaeologist. <gasps> oh. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. Oh, damn. Oh. They're, they're really slinging around a lot of judgment for like people that have been living literally under a rock for God knows how long. Yeah, they're like, magic is in you, but also, to hell with you. I mean, dream. he is trying to plant a flag and take them to a yeah. museum, so a bit of aggression <laughs> isn't unwarranted. Well, but what I mean, if it is there. all just Brooklyn squeaks <laughs> fighting the demons of his past? Wait, what? So, using the inside of magic, the Machu Picchu mice says. Whoa. I love it. Good lord. You're getting deep. You, you gotta read it, Craig. <laughs> oh, all right. Out loud, yeah. <laughs> I was really enjoying it. <laughs> uh, this isn't about me, Brooklyn Squeaks. You have to let go of your pain. No artifact will fill that hole in your museum. I have not come here to bury myself. Then why are you here? I... You keep saying that. Oh. Because I do not know. You don't know. What are you talking about? Don't play dumb. I am not playing. You are. I am not. <laughs> Uh, you are. <laughs> you know what vibes this is really giving? You know that that Monty Python sketch uh, when he goes into the argument yeah. place and he's like, "Is this the place to do an argument?" I've told you once. <laughs> no, you didn't. Yes, I did. No, you didn't. <laughs> this isn't an argument. It's just d disagreeing. No, it is. Yes, it is. <laughs> yeah, the AI's been doing this a lot lately, where it'll just be like, "Oh, conflict. I know how to do that." No, <laughs> stop doing that right away. Ooh. Oh, here we go. Getting some hot one line. Oh, here, here we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Having some emotional pathos now. There we go. <laughs> I posted that mental pathos check. 
physical pathos. It happens. <laughs> <laughs> My physical pathos is acting up. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I can't come out tonight. My knee's giving me real physical pathos today. <laughs> I anyway. honestly don't know who's saying what now. It's my Chupichu <laughs> says, Do we look like burning okay. artifacts? Do we look like... I'm going to do it my own way. Go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, quit giving him line readings, Eric. Come on. Uh, do we look like buried artifacts? Are we more alive than anything at your museum? I do not care what you think. You do. No. Oh. So why don't you tell us what you do care about? I do not know. What do you care about, Brooklyn? I care about... What do I care about? <laughs> History. And killing. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> really thought that was going in a different direction. <laughs> <laughs> he really likes history. He really likes killing. He yeah, likes history and making people history. That's Digging right. holes and putting holes in people. Yeah, that's exactly it. Simple man of symmetry. <laughs> I don't know. We need a third one. Uh, I think it's this. History. Killing. I don't think it's a statement. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're weighing your options. <laughs> history. Killing. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> 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 I care about what do I care about? History? <laughs> Killing? What? Nothing. You were going to say something. I was not. You were. I am not. What were you going to tell me? I don't. I see. <gasps> um How about we let Can the we AI ask them what they see? She walks to the ice fountain and strokes the waters. Ooh, okay. Right. The Whoa. ripples cast across the, the rainbow bridge. It is now it's later, getting hot. Right? <laughs> <laughs> now, we finally did it. Keep stroking oh my that God. ice. I like Chantel's it. adding some uh, added detail to the death of his wife in the memory <laughs> there. You um, asked her, I mean, what does it look like? <laughs> <laughs> what trick was he trying to do? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I could make your pearl necklace shrink, maybe? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> That's so good. It's a horrible... He's a very talented magician. He really is. Oh, I would have liked the show better if it wasn't my wife that he killed. <laughs> <laughs> Any other broad in there, I would have had a great Absolutely. time. It would have been amazing. Wow, look what he did. He didn't even touch it. No, it's so much blood. <laughs> <laughs> Just like that, her head's over there, her body's over there. It's amazing. Two places at once. <laughs> Where does he shop? I love his coat. I love his hat. Yeah, he's very fashionable. He makes more money than most archaeologists who are on vacations. <laughs> That's why he's the only mouse who can afford clothing in this universe. <laughs> Is there a... Did you guys have, like, growing up an obsession with archaeology or paleontology or anything like that? Anyone? Yes. Yes, I did. Yeah, actually. hugely. Oh, man. I spent, like, $40,000 on a useless history degree because of how much... Wait, did you I actually? Is it, did you did you get a degree in in history? That's my degree, yeah. Wow, what was what was your plan like going into that? Oh, you know, my plan was to spend even more money and go to grad school and get even deeper in debt, and then probably just stay in school and then go into academia. <laughs> <laughs> the safest place where and now you're say... drawing a mouse getting its head cut off. Yeah, how life takes you. <laughs> it's Road to terms. success. I believe in New York City magic. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone else? Eric, you mentioned, yeah? Uh, well, yeah, I thought I love history. And um, I won't say that Indiana Jones was a small, um, you know, influence on that. But mm -hmm. um, it's a cool idea. It's, it's cool it to think. Like, here's yeah. something I think about quite often. The okay. oldest city or the oldest civilization that we have writing for is the Sumerians. 
But one of the things we know about from them writing is that they weren't originally from there. They came to Sumar and showed the Assyrians how to write, which means that there is a place they're from, and we have no idea where that is. That's so cool. So the one thing we know about the birthplace of civilization is that it's not the birthplace of civilization. Pretty rad. Yeah, it's very cool. Anyway, we got some text. Um, oh, yeah. <laughs> she walks to the ice fountain and strokes the waters. The light refracts and shimmers. You see your deepest desire shown in the water. The surface of the fountain smooths, and it shows you what she's talking about to say... What she is about to say. I... I know. She says. You are afraid of what she will say. <gasps> Who? <gasps> Your wife. Why? Because you feel anger towards her. <laughs> what? You hate her. For for getting killed by a magician? <laughs> no, for, for abandoning getting tickets him. For abandoning him? Oh, he hasn't, like, come to terms with her death. He hasn't grieved. Oh, mm. he's instead been going around discovering civilizations. Rainbow roads. Yeah. Killing everyone, but he can't kill the one thing that would bring his wife back, and that's her death. Wow. Unless, unless, one thing we know about Brooklyn Squeaks is he, uh, he may not be the most honest of mice, right? <laughs> right. Yeah, he's a real liar. <laughs> Why? What's so, he What does he do? He, uh, uh, you hate it. Um, he realizes it. He takes that in, and instead of just <laughs> arguing for the sake of arguing and just saying no. For them to say, I, I think you do, and him to say, I don't think I do. <laughs> he he breaks that cycle here, you know. He uh, th he I really he he turned. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, here we go. <laughs> yeah, I love that. You turn away. <laughs> the mouse continues. You hate her for leaving you. The magician didn't kill her, did he? She ran away with him oh. to be his assistant, didn't she? She was jealous of you. I think another one said. <laughs> yeah, I, I think it's a chorus of mice. Ah, They're all long. saying this. Oh, jealous of you. What? And then the, and the next one says, okay. loved you. And then the next one says, ah, okay. Then she would still be with you if she were alive today. She, but she's not. She died. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> And, and now, now you, you and Brooklyn says. So so she didn't run away with the assistant with so the wait, magician. So, yeah yeah. So is uh, she dead? He hated her for leaving, and the magician didn't kill her. She ran away with him to be his assistant, didn't and she? Yeah. Then died. But then, <laughs> if she were alive today, she died. But so she, she she ran away and died of natural causes. Or maybe he killed her. I'm a little bit fuzzy on the details. Who knows? But you never got to say goodbye. A oh, tiger so raider. Whatever it is, that's the important part. And you finish by saying, I never got to say goodbye. That is why you are here. I. You need to get closure. Get closure. You need to say goodbye to her. You need to tell your side of the story. So I tell my side of the story. I was heartbroken. I was miserable. And I couldn't process her leaving me. I couldn't bear that she didn't love me anymore. And so I created a story where she got killed by a magician. But now here with my new best friends, <laughs> I'm ready to. I'm ready to leave her memory behind. Oh wow, we really, really got closure fast. Oh, he just loves these guys. They're, they're really getting through to him. He, he doesn't even have to do that much work. 
It's because you just say, I get yeah. she with damn it. And they're doing years of therapy for it. Years of it. <laughs> You're right. You haven't said a full sentence in like 15 oh, minutes. <laughs> sentence fragments. Barely beginning. I, you need closure on your dead wife. Isn't that right? Uh, you know what? You're right. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you know, that, but it, it's really uh, you know, with with friends that are a little bit too into your problems, sometimes they can really lead you down places. You know. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I think Chantel summed it up really well forget. by filling oh, this yeah. pool with cement and then spray painting the words "forget." Period. Closure. Period. I'm fine. Full stop. <laughs> Forcing a smile. Oh, it's an exclamation ah. point now. Wow. Thank you, Chantel. Like oh my god, now. it's just too big. <laughs> <laughs> just a toothy grin that goes on forever. Oh no, it's horrible. Oh no. It's a twisted vision. Sorry. Oh, stop. <laughs> You look at the face. You look at the face of your wife in the fountain. <laughs> you say to the face. I was heartbroken. I was miserable. And I couldn't process you leaving me. So I made up a story about how you got killed by a magician. A magician! But now with my new best friends here in Mice Chu Pichu, <laughs> I am ready to let go. He needs to hear your side. I just told it! <laughs> <laughs> so? I am ready! <laughs> so how do I tell her? How do you normally talk to her? I... Do you think she would listen if you told her this? She... <laughs> You're trying to lead them now, but they won't. Like, you now have to actually say sentences. Uh, she. <laughs> They're the ones bringing the speak to the afterlife magic. I don't know why they expect you to have all the uh, answers. This is just really making want me, me want to bring them to, mu to a museum. Like, for these guys. <laughs> I'm just, I'm going to do it. I just, just let gonna... us give it, let us have that closure. Could we, could we actually drink to forget? Because yeah. I think that moment, that thing you said was yeah. really lovely. I think so. So, let's do it. We're coming up on on uh, <laughs> coming up on time. Yeah, it's real oh, tight. Oh, oh. <laughs> real tight. There we go. Oh, this is so much better. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Way to go, go, AI. You figured it out. Well, that's why you are here. All right, uh, Eric. Do you want to pick it up? Oh, I see. <laughs> now there's just more, more story. Um, wait, I just Ooh, wanted... okay, all right. No, fuck. Um, all right. The face of the woman in the waterfall smiles. You nod, you turn and leave. You walk out into the sunset and down a winding dirt path. You arrive at the door of a small adobe house. You knock on the door. A portly black blind cat opens the door. <laughs> Get on that, Chantel. <laughs> <laughs> he says, What can I do for you? Why? <laughs> you swallow and say, I'm looking for a new life. A new life? Yes. How much? Everything I have. Hmm. And? All of me. All of you. I want... You? I want to. <laughs> hey, guys, I think he's gonna... I think he's gonna fuck this cat. <laughs> 
let's make a move to uh, to kiss the cat. Oh, this is God. so sudden. Do we know who this person is? <laughs> Do we have a relationship with we this cat? We don't even know no. who else is in the house with this cat. <laughs> I've been married for 38 years. <laughs> but meh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a home wrecker now. Uh, when in my Chu Pichu. <laughs> then the production number. <laughs> One last number. <laughs> oh my god, look how small we are compared to the portly blind cat. <laughs> yeah, this mouse Run. is uh, going to crawl right inside her. Oh god, <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> <laughs> oh lord. Oh wow! There was okay. those, uh, you know, those uh, uh, rumors oh, about wow. Richard Year <laughs> and the gerbil. Mm -hmm. What? That he was a small, three-foot mouse climbing inside of people? Oh yeah, you didn't hear about that. <laughs> <laughs> right after Pretty Woman, you couldn't keep him out. <laughs> <laughs> Christ! No, what about Richard Gear? Oh yeah, uh, ferrets, ferrets inside uh, cabins. Oh. What? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, I don't think it's true. I think it's just a Gerbil. popular Gerbil. gerbils. Yeah. Gerbil. It was a gerbil. Yeah, oh, man. He graduated to ferrets after running away. Gerbil up the Buddhist bum. <laughs> oh God! Yeah. All right. Yeah. Oh God! Look, do you want to just leave it there? <laughs> <laughs> Daniel, you have decided to put us on a road that is a treacherous one inside the AI. <laughs> gotcha. We don't know where it will end, but. Oh, good lord. <laughs> yeah, I really uh, thought it was going to be a sunset moment, but it's really... Yeah, no. No, no, no. We're in smut territory now, You have baby. to understand, Daniel, this AI was trained on a whole lot of fan fiction. <laughs> <laughs> um... Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, boy. Undo. Undo. <laughs> just, just get sloshed. All right. Drink, uh, forget all we'll of this. Let's hear it out. Let's hear it Let's out. Let's hear one more rendition <laughs> of Where the Magic yeah. Begins. I, I'm not reading the text. Re let's hear it out. Let's yeah. hear it out. Okay. It starts real nice. All it right. Goes, you grab the cat and swing them you into a low You grab the dip. cat and swing them into a low, passionate dip. You give them a strong, a low dip. You give them a strong and passionate kiss. Oh, this one's tame enough. After a minute, the cat says, You are a egg charge kind of guy. Finally finishing some sentences. <laughs> I... I'll take it. What? The offer. But, but I... You are my soulmate. <laughs> we did it, guys. I can't believe it. Wow. I think I think to wrap this up, I'm going to get the AI to generate one more song, uh, get it to write the lyrics for us. Um, mm -hmm. And that would be like, I don't know, the, the closing song or the song during the credits, something along that line. So, chat, go ahead and throw out some song titles. I'll pick the one that I like the best and start Ball punching it in. Ballad of Brooklyn Squeaks. Ballad of Brooklyn Squeaks. <laughs> Good lord. Uh, what do you want to do in the oh, meantime? God, I, let's talk about how this story has changed us. We, we began the night by speaking of iconic uh, cinema. Um, I think this has affected me quite just as much as watching Citizen Kane for the first time. I, uh... <laughs> Chantal is making the same thumbnail she did one <laughs> year ago. <laughs> Sorry, carry on. Sometimes it's a, a mermaid cat. and a Frenchman, and sometimes it's a cat and a blind mouse and an adobe. Just like <laughs> Citizen Kane. What we all learn is that we're all the same in the end. And it doesn't yeah. matter where you go. Sometimes you're, you're, you're drowned in a river of rainbows, but you come out the other end and you learn to say goodbye. And <laughs> sometimes magicians kill your happiness. But you'll find a blind cat and an adobe. And a deep, passionate kiss can make everything better sometimes. Sometimes it's good to concentrate on history, and sometimes it's time to leave history in the past. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it doesn't belong in a museum. <laughs> what did you learn today, Chantel? I learned... <laughs> 
I learned that uh, magic originated in New York City. I think uh, I knew that. Yeah. But I also learned it. But I think, but I think sometimes to know something truly, you have to learn it after it's been revealed. Yeah. Yeah. What did you learn, Craig? I learned how to use Zoom. <laughs> oh, that's I, a good yeah. skill. <laughs> Great skill. <laughs> Uh, I, this whole thing, I, I felt like I, I was enjoyably just rolling down this hill <laughs> and everything was going and going and going. And, uh, now that I know what to expect, I'm very excited for next time. Should there be one? Oh. <laughs> it's much like Indiana Jones running away mm. from a large styrofoam symbol. ball. I'm really looking forward to this the next time it happens. <laughs> Because I'll know. <laughs> it's an armadillo pulling a wagon. Pulling a wagon. What is life if not just a big ride in an armadillo wagon? Hmm. I don't want to know. Hmm. Anyway, do you want to make some epilogues in the chat? In the case? If, <laughs> if, you had, if you had, Daniel, which character spoke to you? Which one would you like to know what happened? Um, he, he, yo, what what happened to the, both the sheriff and the deputy were <laughs> murdered in that town? So what happened in the town? Because the deputy can't take over now. Right. <laughs> Hierarchy. Anarchy ensues. Yeah. There all is. of the criminals and all of the mice town or snake town or wherever the fuck they were. It, they're going to it's going to be pandemonium. Unless they make the spider the new sheriff. Hey, she's doing nothing. A French now. sheriff. <laughs> I'm gonna say after the the town soon. I'm gonna say after the sheriff and deputy were murdered in Sprig Mills, the town soon and leave it to the AI as an epilogue. This is something we do. So if you hit this, all right. After the sheriff and deputy were murdered in Spring Mills, the town soon. Come on, AI fell into lawlessness. The town was ruled by the gang of four. The gang was made up of the cat, the leader of the group, the rat, the head criminal of the organization, the fox, the second in command, the weasel, the enforcer. Together, these four were a powerful force. I was like it. Honestly, um, that's where this, the story really begins. I'm yeah, more this is a that. prequel. <laughs> Oh yeah! Wasn't this a sequel? What's what's so the like, a, so like an animal Fantastic Four kind of thing? That's kind of ah. cool. Yeah. <laughs> I think that um I think that the original story was about when Brooklyn Squeak's wife ran off with the mu magician, mm. and so oh. they, yeah, a lot of kids didn't realize when they started this movie that Brooklyn Squeak's <laughs> had a wife, and then it really took them for surprise when at the end it was revealed in the fountain. Right. This is a wild thing to do a follow-up kids film. <laughs> like, hey, remember when yeah. we murdered your wife? Yeah, now well, let's you just know, go on a grief trip. Back in the eighties, we had a lot more faith in what kids were able to understand. <laughs> That's true. I have put here in the Zoom chat another code. If you guys want to punch it in like you did before, that'll take you to our song titled "Take Charge, Kind of Guy." All right. So, Eric, why don't you start us off with verse one in our first chorus? Um, Craig, why don't you take verse two and the second chorus? And Daniel, you'll bring us home with the bridge and the final chorus. Gotcha. Sound good? Awesome. Uh, let me pull up a drum beat. What, what would be nice? What, what's the style of something And like I just this? want to point out that's a lowercase l at the end of it. Yeah. So. Yeah. Oh, wow. Look at this. Okay. Uh... Whole song. All the lyrics are here for you. Yeah. Um, I'll go with, uh, gosh, what, what, what's a, what's a good style for like the end of these? What are, what are these usually? It's like just a, like a pop tune. Isn't yeah. It? it would be like a 90s Huey Lewis. pop ballad. <laughs> Huey Lewis and the news. <laughs> oh, we wait, got dude. Huey Lewis and Angela Lansbury. Wait, Daniel's gone. <laughs> Daniel's like gone, gone. Daniel. Oh, Again? he's gone, gone. Oh, he's From gone. the call, gone. Oh no. Oh no, no, Daniel. Admit. He's in the way. I've, I put him in. Is I just order wait a minute. Whoa, 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 whoa everybody. Mm. You can reorder us on Zoom. That'll be fine. Yeah, I just have to do that. 
Oh, no, that's the wrong way around. <laughs> Cue the music! <laughs> All right, we're good to go. All right. Here's our closing number. Is everybody in? Right. We good? No. We're taking charge. Kind of oh. Guy. All right. <laughs> My Zoom's frozen. I have no way of getting to the chat. Oh shit! It's a uh, um four S K F, all capitals. And where do I put that in? In the same code that that, that we had before. The same way we got into the original one, right? Oh, With the okay. Multiplayer. Yeah, yeah. So go home, uh, play. Multiplayer. Oh, so, Sometimes you have to take time. charge. It's a long vamp. Yeah. It was the style at the time. <laughs> the credits are like halfway done already. The yeah. song hasn't started yet. Assistant Gaffer. <laughs> That's the boy. <laughs> All right. It's not letting me. It's not letting you? No. Oh, crap. Yeah, I can. I, I, I yeah. All right. Oh, you... here, oh, here we go. Maybe. Uh, multiplayer. Yeah. Enter shoot. Okay. What's the door code? <laughs> Four. Yep. Capital S. Capital K. Capital F. Yep. Capital C. Capital J. Eight. Yep. Lowercase L. Gotcha. My favorite All of this song. Dialogue I know is happening under the credits. <laughs> so who's doing what again, Jack? Eric, you're starting with the first one in the first chorus. I'm gonna have Craig do verse two in the second chorus, and then Daniel's taking the bridge and the final chorus. Oh God, I just read the bridge. Um, <laughs> all right. Sometimes you've just gotta take charge. If there's one thing I wanna know, it's where you hit my heart. I'm just saying, I'd rather wing a what if. And another thing I want to say is I really like to know. I bet you would if I only could tell you what I want to know. Hey, take charge, kind of guy. Why can't you see you're only wasting your precious time? Because you're so in love with me You're only making a fool of yourself Oh, I, you don't seem to understand All right, Craig, you ready for first two? You come in like you're really gonna try you don't fool me, but you don't hang around. Just give it up, just get on out and leave us alone. Just go away. Ah, I'm gonna add another one, cause it makes musical sense. Hey, take charge kinda guy. Why can't you see you're only wasting your precious time? Because you're so in love with me. You're only making a fool of yourself. Ah, you don't seem to understand. You, 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 me, 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 I the bike feels like you're getting slowly further away. Hey, take charge, kind of guy. 
Why can't you see that you're only wasting your precious time? Because you're so in love with me. Oh, reloaded shit. <laughs> you're only making your fool of yourself. Ah! You don't seem to understand. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Just before his breath. <laughs> He's seeing it on a Ferris wheel. <laughs> you, 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 me, 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 you, 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 me, 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 you, you, us. <laughs> Well, yeah. you guys, <laughs> there's nothing else to say except that you can find us at patreon.com slash imperfect librarians. You can type exclamation point discord into the chat to join the imperfect librarians discord community. I'd like to say thank you to Chantel for doing our art this week. And a thank you once again to Daniel Williston and Craig McGuire for joining us doing character voices and leading the story. You guys make this such a delight every single week. Also, hey, Eric, you're here too. Glad to have you. <laughs> yeah. I leave you with this quote by Walter Scott. If a farmer fills his barn with grain, he gets mice. If he leaves it empty, he gets actors. <laughs> to the empty barn! <laughs> yeah, let's go pilot to the barn, baby! <laughs> Good night, everybody.